Hi friends, how are you? Hope you're well. This is my second time. I did actually start I this virtually complete before um something happened and I put my video on pause. And then I hit the stop button. Hmm, that's good, isn't it? Uh, never mind. Anyway, happy twenty twenty two what twenty twenty one. I hope you've had a really good start to this year. And I hope that this year brings us all, you know, this pandemic being under control vaccinations working and that we can go and start meeting with friends family and just trying to live shall we, shall we say a normal or what could be normal life from now on i'm quite happy to wear if we have to wear a mask all the time that doesn't bother me um but yeah i'm looking forward to being able to go in and sort of seeing friends and meeting with the coffee and also going to bookshops that that, that is my my big my big thing I, I have to say i have missed going and browsing books but Hey ho, that's, that's the way it's been and I'm happy to stay in my little bubble, in my little house um, and only going out if and when totally, totally necessary. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the start of that. So what I've decided to do this year is instead of doing like monthly wrap ups, as you saw that they went by the by, um, I just couldn't. I just couldn't do them. Um, so I've decided that this year I'm going to do weekly wrap-ups as well as what I'm going to be reading at the weekend. So you're going to get kind of one video with that in it and then I'm hoping to sort of um, vlog as well. So, and if there are any other things that come up, I will obviously do other videos as well. So what did I read last week? I read A Share of Star by McKenna Lee. I really, really enjoyed this one. This is a Harlequin special edition and the wee girl with special needs, she just made this book for me. She was just so sweet, so trusting and just, oh, she was just adorable. Um, and I just thought it was, a, it was, that was what made it for me. I'd seen this book over on the book, Sarah from the Bookish Knitter. I'd seen her read it and she I think she quite enjoyed it and I knew that the Christmas part of this story only came in at the kind of the very very end so I was prepared for that I'd gone in going right okay I know it's not a, a full-on Christmas book and I think that's that was good to be you know to know that um but this is a uh, Tess and Anson's story and I just really really adored it small town small town contemporary romance with a child with special needs and how people react to her as a child um, and how they're so welcoming not only to her mother but to her as well. I thought it was just a, a lovely, delightful, easy read. So if you're looking for something that's just so is, is sweet and just nice to read, I would go with this one. I then popped onto my Kindle Fire because there were books from NetGalley that I wanted to read that I've had on my NetGalley sort of backlist and I thought, right, let's get some of them read. So the first one I read was Bait and Witch, which actually only came out on the 29th of December 2020. I'm going to do a full review for it. It's the first in a series and I will definitely be carrying on with the series. I really, really enjoyed it. But I will say more in you know my 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 video about it. I then started. I then read "Get Out of Your Head" by Jenny Allen, which is a Christian nonfiction, um, which was out January twenty twenty, I think. It was okay. I just don't think I was in the right headspace, the right mindset for it. Um, it just didn't grab me at all. But hey, that's the way things go. There's some that will do, some that won't do. And that's just one of them. I then started 2021 off with another net galley read that comes out on the 29th of this month. And that was A Tourist Guide to Murder by V.M. Burns. And I read it in a day. I absolutely adored it. It was so good. Um, it's the, I think it's the sixth book in the bookshop series. But I can't be 100% sure on that. But again, I'll be doing a review of it and I will tell you more of my thoughts. But I did enjoy it. So I've had a good start to 2021. Um, what am I going to pick up this weekend? I'm going to pick up An Alaskan Twin Surprise by Belle Calhoun. This is about a 200 odd page book. So I should get it finished. Maybe I actually get it done tonight. I don't know. Or today. 
Um, this is the book for the Bookish Sisters book group. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I've never read any of Belle Calhoun's, I know it's a sec, this is the second book in a series, I'm hoping that you can just jump straight into the series without having read book one. Um, so yeah, so that's what I plan to read this weekend. If I finish this, I haven't picked anything else out, I will do, um, later on. I have, so, I've had a TBR chosen for me by Beth over at Soul Stained Inc., and I've chosen a TBR for her. We are going to do videos about it. So I will leave a link to Beth's channel down below so you can see what she's picked for me to read this month. Um, I'm actually really quite chuffed with what, what, I'm, what I've been asked, what she's picked for me to read. And there's no pressure. We don't have to um, get these books read. If we don't, you know, if we feel no, we, we don't really want to read them, we don't have to. But we would like to um get them some of them, at least some of them read and she and i are also going to be doing a a buddy read so that's going to be fun my plans for the rest of this weekend well there's rugby on today and i think there'll be rugby on tomorrow so i'll watch that read i started to do um a seven day yoga challenge i started it yesterday really enjoyed it it's 10 minutes of yoga a day and the session is actually planned for you so that's really nice so i plan to do that today and tomorrow but apart from that, not a lot. I have started vlogging today. A um, couple of things that we've been I've been doing this morning. But apart from that, that's kind of my weekend, friends. Um, nice and quiet, which is fine. So please let me know. What, have you started reading any new books um, in twenty twenty one? What did you start off with? What was the book that you picked for your very first book of twenty twenty one? I'd love to know. Do you have a TBR for this month? What are you planning on reading? And also, what are your plans for this weekend? Um, but whatever you do, I hope that you have a great time, stay safe, and I'll speak to you later.